Oh. Now you guys know the secret of making thumbnails. We are in my house right now. You guys say you want a little bit more behind the scenes. I just got back from a run, six miles, 100 degree Texas weather. I'm sweating, my hair's crazy. My glasses are foggy up, and now we're taking you guys in the studio right here. We have about a million dollar budget per video, and this one is, we're not cutting any corners here. We're talking sales training, software sales. It's the end of the quarter. End of June, I think it's June 26th, 24th. I'm losing track of days. End of Q2 2021. And you're probably expecting me to come out and say, hey, you gotta go make your cold calls. You gotta go work 100 hours. You gotta go work harder than the next guy. That's my usual messaging. I bring videos to you each and every day talking about how to find more success. Cold calling, prospecting, my experience, both positives and negatives in my three year software sales career, promoting from SDR to AE. And this is completely off the cuff. There's no script. This is behind the scenes. And we make videos each and every day. I'm a sales guy and I'm not trying to sell you anything. And I just want to hopefully give you advice that helps you find more success, make more money and move up in your career and get more of what you want out of life. And I woke up today it's the end of the quarter. I've already hit my quota three quarters in a row. And if we're talking training wise, there's no tactical advice here in this video. There's no ethereal high level mindset that I'm trying to tell you to absorb. The only message here today is don't put so much pressure on yourself. I'm someone that tries extremely hard. I put in a lot of hours and I woke up this morning and I didn't know what to do. I sat down and I said, you know what, I just have no motivation today. And I thought, is something wrong with me? Is, is something going on? I pulled out my journal, I sat down, I started documenting my thoughts, and I realized, you know what? I've been working myself really hard recently, and I, and I think I just hit a wall. And I made a video recently talking about why I have no work-life balance, and saying, if you feel burnt out, it's due to a lack of commitment. And I feel like I'm more committed than most, and today I hit a wall and I felt a little burnt out, and I thought, I have two ways I could spend this day. I could just go mess around and do whatever, or I could just try and work. So I said, you know what? I'm not feeling it today, but I'm gonna show up. I'm gonna show up even if I don't feel right. I'm gonna show up even if I don't wanna be here. And just by pushing through, it wasn't the most productive day, but at least I showed up, at least I had a day, at least I made some calls, 20 calls, make your calls every day, didn't set any meetings. And I was able to close a deal today. It was a deal I had been working for months. A lot of adversity, a lot of hurdles we had to overcome. And if you're in software sales and you know anything about closing deals, you have to negotiate, you gotta do a sales cycle, and then you send a DocuSign if you're using that for signature. And then sometimes it takes days for them to sign. Today, out of the blue, I was sitting there, it was the afternoon. I just got done eating some pistachios and I saw that notification on my email the DocuSign's been completed and I was pretty pumped up. And really the, the advice here, the tactical advice is that even the most successful people, I'm not saying I'm the most successful people and you can see I'm a little out of breath here. I just ran six miles, it was really hot outside. But even the most successful people wake up sometimes and don't know what to do. Everyone gets lost no matter how buttoned up you feel like you are, no matter how put together that next guy may put off that he is. Everyone wakes up some days and has no idea what to do and that's a completely natural feeling. I think that's just part of being a human. I wanted to share my experience here today and this is real sales training. And this isn't gonna necessarily help you set more meetings but this may help you get through whatever funk you're in to move towards that productive state because I think of myself as a sprinter and a marathon runner. Not in the literal sense of going outside running because I'm not a sprinter, I'm pretty slow. I am a good distance runner though. In your career, you do short sprints and then you'd slow down the pace a little bit. And in sales in particular, the end of the quarters are the right time to slow down. If you're about to hit your quota, then perhaps you gotta find a little extra fuel in the tank and keep sprinting a little harder. But if you've hit your quota, if you've been working really hard, you don't necessarily need to take the day off, but just ease off a little bit. I woke up and I said, you know what? I'm not gonna do my usual routine. I pulled out my journal, I started thinking about my thoughts, I watched a little YouTube videos, I watched my own videos, make sure to hit the like button if you're still watching this video now, and just relax a little bit. I, I took a little walk this morning and I said, you know what, everything's gonna be fine, productivity is important, but the emails can wait, the cold calls can wait, I just needed a little time to myself. And some days, some days you gotta do that to get through that funk, 
and everything's gonna be okay. So thanks so much for watching this video. No matter who you are, no matter where you're watching, I hope that this message resonated with you. I hope you feel better about where you're at. There's no need to compare yourself to anybody else. At the end of quarter, it's easy to say, wow, that person closed a lot more than me. Are they better than me? Am I not as good as I think? None of that matters. As long as you gave your best shot, then that's that, then you can live with yourself at the end of the day. That's, that's what it's all about. And I really appreciate you watching this video. Thanks so much for following my journey. We make videos each and every day. The goal is 100,000 subscribers. I don't know how we're gonna get there unless we go viral on TikTok, which probably is not gonna happen because I don't know how to do TikTok. If you know how to do TikTok, reach out to me. I need someone to help me with TikToks, by the way. Perhaps we could work out a deal. Anyways, I think I've said that multiple times. Have a great rest of Q2. Have a great rest of your day. Have a great rest of your week. Everything's gonna be okay. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.